Kieran, you price up all four watches. 20, 19, 18. Big and quick, bigger figure. Done. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Big Br not Big Brother, sorry. So and welcome back to another episode of GMG Watches. Before we jump into today's video, we promised a bag of goodies for one of the best comments on our past video, and that is going to Greggy Boy. We see all your comments and you've sent a lot of subscribers over to our channel, so thank you for being a loyal follower and your bag of goodies will be getting sent out to you. Please drop us a message on Instagram and we will get them sent over. In this week's episode, we are back to the dealings of a watch dealer. We loved all the comments and really like to hear that you enjoyed our trip to Spain, but it's back to the grind, back to business, and we hope you enjoy this video. Plenty of cool things going on, where one of the watches that I've been looking forward to reviewing for a long time is the Aventi A11, so stay tuned to watch that. And before we jump into today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope you enjoy it. Hi, Bob. We've got you here today to go through a celebrity's watch collection. But we're gonna get Bobby to read the watch collection first and then we'll tell him whose collection it is. Okay. Royal Oak double balance wheel open works. I'm not into the diamonds like that, but it's nice, like, I do appreciate a nice skeleton. I'm instantly drawn to a hip hop artist <laughs> or a footballer. Based on my personal preference, I'm gonna give that one a six out of 10. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Bugatti Chiron Rose Gold. Designed to look like the front of the, the Bugatti car and the exhaust at the back. <laughs> Don't know, it's just not me that at all. I'm rating that like a three out of 10. I've gone away from hip hop now and I'm, I'm a footballer, I think. Mm, Jesus. This is one person's collection? Yeah. Classic Fusion, Chronograph iced out. I'm still thinking it's, it's a male, by the way. There's still a lot of diamonds on show, isn't there? There's a flashy individual. Four out of 10. This person's got terrible tasting watches. <laughs> Two out of ten, moving on. That's the second Hublot now, so I'm gonna guess they've got some kind of collaboration with them or they're sponsored by them, which again leads me to footballer. I'm thinking Ronaldo right now. Oh, hang on. What do I rate that What? It's not my cup of tea at all, but I do appreciate that. All right, now, I think I've seen this somewhere recently. Okay. I think I saw somebody wear this. I'm gonna go eight out of 10 on that one. Based on the on the Emerald Patek, I'm gonna say Marcus Rashford. From an overall collection point of view, I'm gonna give them an, an across the board six out of 10, I think. That is, that brings their average right down. Why they've got that, I don't know, but the only person I've seen wear that is Andrew Tate. This is collection. Well, if anyone ever sees that on his wrist, he's just lost all of his street grip. <laughs> whatever, whatever he had left anyway. Sorry, Andrew. I know you always say what colour is your Bugatti, but in this case, it's the colour of who? Sorry it... you've been away and incarcerated, but I'd put you in prison based on that watch collection as well. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm excited to show you this very special watch. So I've actually been following this brand since 2020 when they were first created by Hanu Siren. I spend most of my days on Instagram, as most of you will know, um, looking after GMG, the Watch Boutique and other accounts. So I see these watches on a daily basis. So I'm very, very excited to have one right here with me now. As you can see, it's already quite impressive by the box. If we look at that compared to a Rolex box, there we have it, you know what we think about the Rolex box. So let me show you this watch. So here we have the Aventi A11. Hanu Siren, when he created this in 2020, he talks a lot on videos about his love for supercars, and this is what gave him the idea of making Aventi. So since their inception in 2020, Aventi have really, really been taken off, especially the A11 and the A10 models. The A11 is which we have here. They only make a very limited amount of these watches and you can't actually even apply to have one of these watches on their website anymore. They have stopped it, which they like to say on their website is a paused allocation. So again, very, very hard to get hold of. So this watch is anti-reflective, which as I've just touched upon means that me and Johnny can get amazing shots of this watch as you're seeing here on screen. 
It is 50 meters water resistant and has a case size of 48.5 millimeters. So it's quite a big watch on the wrist. It has 30 millimeters thickness, which again means it is quite chunky and sits quite high on the wrist. It's skeletonized, meaning that we can see the amazing tourbillon movement inside the watch and has a titanium clasp. As we said earlier, you can't actually get this off the Aventi website at the moment, but I believe it retails for around 11 to 12,000 pounds. So yeah, let me know what you think about this watch. Do you like it? Do you love it? For me, this watch is really growing on me. Um, since seeing them on Instagram, you can't really do it justice until you have it in your hand and you see it in person, and it just looks amazing, especially when the light hits that emerald. This kind of watch is for the people who are going to be wanting to buy RMs, but can't maybe afford an RM, and this is a tenth of the price, as I said, around 11 to 12,000 pounds. You could get a date just, you could get a sub no date for around the similar price, so it really depends on what your preference is and your budget, but if you're into the more bold, brashy kind of watches like this is, you haven't got the money to buy an RM, then obviously this is the next best thing in my opinion. As you can see, the crown of this watch is actually at the top. So when you wear it, it's not digging into your wrist, which is a nice cool feature that I like. And you've got the silicon white strap and the titanium clasp, which you see here. In terms of quality wise, it's probably not on the same level as RM, but if you're wanting a watch that's similar, that stands out at an event or when you're driving your car or whatever it might be on holiday, then this for me is a watch for you, especially for the price point. So as well as the box, you get all your Aventi goodies within this leather pouch, which I think is a nice touch. So let me show you what you get within this. So if I open here, you get your card, which is a cool design. You get a hand-signed certificate of authentication from Hanu himself. You get the handbook, so this tells you everything you need to know about your watch, how to work it, how to use it and the watch care and maintenance so you know how to look after your watch and how to make sure that it's working properly. As well as that, which I think is an amazing touch which comes with this watch, is the lab report. Now, this tells you everything you need to know in more detail about the watch and shows you that every single watch has been tested to make sure that it does exactly what it says on the tin. This watch has every feel of a very high-end luxury watch. I love the casing, I love the box, I love the booklet that it comes with. I love everything about it, to be honest. In my opinion, would I buy it? Possibly, yeah. I'd add it to the collection. It's a, it's a head turner. It's something very, very different. And I love the level of detail that they go to with the watch. This is how I think every luxury watch should come with an amazing box, amazing booklet, all the tests, proof of everything. In my opinion, great watch. For the price, if you can't afford an RM, I would say definitely go for one of these. Hi, babe. Welcome back to the Watch Boutique. Four Datejust 41s. One, two, three of these are 2020 models on the old cards. And this one here is a 2023 model, brand new, unworn. All of them are in stickers, which is quite rare and a great selling point from our point of view. But all by metal, rose and steel. So Datejust 41, a gent's watch, a gent's size. However, we're seeing a lot more women wear bigger size watches these days, especially like Daytona, which is like a 40 mil. So a 41 mil isn't far off. Cheapest through to the most expensive. We've got the 2020 Datejust 41 with the, uh, the rose diamond dot dial. This one is retailing at 14,000 pounds. Moving on to the Jubilee bracelet with the rose and steel. This again is the rose dial, but the rose batten dial, as opposed to the diamond dial. Fluted bezel, Jubilee bracelet, again, 14,000 pounds, but this is a brand new 2023 model. Again, moving on, we've seen a few Wimbledons recently, but we've not seen this one. This is, the again, the Steel and Rose Biometal Watch. Fluted, bezel, oyster steel bracelet. 14,250 is what I'm asking on this one. 2020 model, old card. Moving on to our most expensive piece out of the four. This is the Rose and Steel Jubilee Bracelet, Rose Fluted Bezel, Chocolate Diamond Dot Dial. Now this one's retailing at 14,500. So all within 500 pound of each other. Three of them 2020s, this one's the 2023. All in stickers though. Again, I must stress that, they're all in stickers. That's why these watches are commanding quite a higher price. And this one, especially as it's been a 2023 model, fresh off the conveyor belt, is a great buy point. So again, 14,000, 14,000, 14,250, 14,500. As always, get on the phone to me. I'm open to a deal. Let's see what we can do. Beautiful watches. I'd say they pass as unisex watches. If there's any women out there looking to get a watch like this, a bigger watch, any, any blokes out there that prefer rose over yellow gold, again, cracking option for you to look at. If you want a bit of flair on your wrist, the two diamond dot dials are beautiful. 
um, something a bit more subtle, then the rose batten dial again would suit you well. Perfect. <laughs>
And just like that, in 3.2 seconds, the coffee is done. Cheers. Is this the watch, It is, yeah. How can I help? Oh, mate, I saw your Platinum J Turner advertise. How much is that going for? 21 is available for £112,500. How much is the 2019 so far? It's sold. Oh, it's sold? Yeah, the 19 just sold this morning. Uh, 12 and a half. Is that what you want? So, yeah, I've got the 21 available, and I th what? think yeah. there might be a 22 available. 22 is available, 22. yeah. Yeah, Lee? Yeah, 119. Okay, were you looking to part X anything against the watch? Mm, I've got a meal gas, discontinued model. Which colour dial? Uh, green. How much is that? How much did you pay for that? Uh, send me a picture if you can on the WhatsApp and I'll, uh, I'll give you a price for it. Alright, give me about 10 minutes, I'll do that. Yeah, what was your name? My name is... My name's Bobby. I'm Bobby, thanks mate. Speak to you very soon mate, take care. Bye bye. minute clock here and you price up all four watches all four and then you've got as long as you can to make the deal happen price up all four what were they a panda 19 a vacheron 2022 a vacheron 4500 v i think it is and it's a silver dial steel silver 2022 yeah it's got a chance a deep deep sea um deep sea 21 but it's the black model Explain how well, the first one's quite easy. The first one's just a 19 panda. You'd probably want to pay like 23, 24 grand for that. Okay. That's quite an easy one because it's a pretty much sort of everyday type watch. It's the Vasher on now that you're going to need to kind of work out. That's what I'm looking for now. That date just could be a 31 mil. Could probably do with some clarification from him. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. Well, I'm struggling with this Vasher on. <laughs> 20, 19, 18. What, you bid them quick, pick a figure? Done. That's what I'm happy to pay. Only got them two, because there's only two of these, so. Eight grand on the deep sea. Eight K. Yeah, and depending on what size, but. I'd probably. go seven, 17 on the, the fast run. Because yeah. they're coming in about 20, 22, and they're yeah. the only two that I can find. So offer him 16 and go from there. 16, 23. Yeah. You're at 53 grand total. For the gentleman who's just offered us a 2019 Daytona Panda, a Vacheron 2022 4500V, a Deep Sea 21 and a Datejust 2021, we have offered him 51,000 for the full set of four watches. We've also given him the consignment option where it is 56,000 to 57,000, depending on obviously the market. And we'd expect them all to sell pretty quickly. So it depends now, ball's in his court, if he wants to go for the outright sale and get 51K in his bank today, or if he wants to wait a little bit and potentially get 56, 57. So GMG watches have teamed up with Cash for Kids once again. Uh, this time we are giving away this Xbox Series X console. So all you have to do is go over to the website, that is, the link is in our bio. Donations, any amount you want to make, it can be a pound, five pound, ten pound, twenty pound, whatever you want to donate. 27th of April that is going to end and we will pick a winner from all the donations. Uh, you can make multiple donations but you will only be registered one time. So yes, yeah, so get over there, it is a great charity, we've done work with them before. They're doing absolutely outstanding work in the, in the local Northwest community. We have got a soft target of £500 but come on we're going to try and donate as much money as we can and we need the help of you guys so please with the link that is going to be below and in the bio please 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 make sure that you donate let's raise as much money to help these kids as we can let's do it even if it's one pound get over there now and do it worth having to go for a pound isn't it definitely exactly. please make sure that you donate okay. i'm good yeah so what you after you after root beer or pepsi still yeah buddy. and you are looking for is it a jubilee or a oyster pepsi Okay, so I've got a 2023 in stock I can do for 17.5. That's the Jubilee, that. On the Pepsi, Pepsi Jubilee, that's a 2023 plate, brand new, unworn. Brand new, 17 and a half grand. 17 and a half grand to you today, yeah. I'm a big fan of Pepsi from day one. Yeah, yeah. Good. If you, know, if you know what you like, pull the trigger and you've got it, yeah. I like that. Unless you're buying it for an investment, then you don't need to worry about what it looks like on your wrist. But if you're buying it to wear and to enjoy, then you go with what you think's best.
Don't let people sway you. You know what you want and you know what you like. I said, I said don't let people put me off. No, absolutely. You go with what you know. If you like the Pepsi and you've always liked the Pepsi, go for the Pepsi. Don't let somebody tell you to go for a, a root beer because it's a better, it's, it's, a, it's a nice looking watch in their opinion. It's all about your opinion. You're going to be wearing it. Obviously, you know, you know more than me. You've been in this trade, watch this trade. What do you think, what do you think is the best US one for me? A Pepsi Jubilee was or will always be a, a, easy to sell on. Easy to sell than a Rutherford. Yeah, but they're both so they're both popular watches. Some say Rutherford, Rutherford, Rutherford. Some say Pepsi. Yeah. Stick to your guns. Stick to your guns. If you know you like the Pepsi, go for the Pepsi. But listen, if you had the Pepsi and then you wanted to change it after a month's time, then you know where I am. You can always we can always do a deal on it and and stick you into something else. I watch your I watch your GMG watches every Sunday on YouTube. I'm a fan of you. Like, Brilliant. Oh yeah, fantastic. Yes, yeah, so we're on season two. I think we're just planning season three now. Oh, yeah. So there'll be much more to come next the next season. The best one I like is one of your staff to pick up the Pepsi from the motorway. Yeah, that was the very first episode. Yeah, from a lad in Preston, that one. That was you, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what. When you uh, let's get this deal over, I'll send you a bag of goodies as well. So you've got, I'll get you a GMG cap, and you can represent. Okay, then, buddy. Uh, and do you know what? If you buy the Pepsi, I'll chuck in a free Pepsi clock as well for you. Yeah, that's Johnny's job. That Johnny creates all the videos and all the music content. He's good at what he yeah, does, isn't he? Okay, Mr. C take care. Bye bye. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of GMG Watches. We hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Please make sure that you are donating to the Cash for Kids giveaway where you can win an Xbox. The link will be down here below. Next week, wow, we're on the season finale of season two. Little hint behind us of where we may be. So leave us a comment in this comment section and let us know where you think we're going to be next week for the season finale. And we will pick one winner to give some GMG goodies to. And that's it. We'll see you next week. Like, comment and subscribe. When you all bailed on me and went to Mallorca, left me here in the office, twiddling <laughs> my thumbs. <laughs> what went down? A lot of business. He went to ask the theatres for a uh, for an autograph and got pied. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I'm out. I'm out." <laughs> <laughs>